My name is Katie Donman. I'm a civil structural engineer at KCB. I've worked out of the Vancouver office for about 18 years in the PMT Power and Transportation Group. And just over a year ago, I transferred to the Brisbane office where I'm the, the lead of the, the water dams and the hydro group for power and transportation but in Australia. So a typical day for me looks quite different a year and a half ago when I was primarily doing construction support for the hydroelectric project that I was on. I still have some work though that I do on that project as it comes to a close. So that includes developing record drawings for the powerhouse for which I was the engineer record for the concrete outlines. Um, but with the shift to Brisbane came a shift in my responsibilities and my day-to-day -day efforts as well. Primarily in my new role as design manager on the owner side, I participate in a lot of meetings with the owner and the, the designer and contractor for that project to understand how the design is progressing. And then um, I also meet with the internal KCB team who does the detailed reviews of the project deliverables. Um, and we, we just monitor the progress and prioritization of the tasks that are go into the design of this project. And we provide that feedback to both the owner and the, the designer. We also assist the owner in developing their project documents, such as the owner's requirements. But another hat that I wear is the, um, under the role of manager of hydro and dams in Australia is to do business development and recruitment activities. So oftentimes a part of my day includes that as well. And then of course, you know, I have to fit in a good coffee break with uh, enjoying the excellent coffee here in Australia. Honestly, when I chose to go into engineering, I didn't really even know what I would end up doing at the end of the day. Um, I didn't know too much about engineering in general until a student from the University of Saskatchewan, which is, was in the city that I, I grew up in, um, came to our grade 12 class and told us about engineering. And I, I had a good background in math and science and felt like those were the strong areas for my skills. and. The way he presented the college, it just made it sound like such a fun college. So <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll give this a shot and see how it goes. And then it wasn't until after first year, after you kind of dabble in a few different areas that we had to choose our discipline. And I just felt that structural engineering was the best fit for me. It happened that the vice president of the power and transportation group in Vancouver knew one of the professors and, and was from Saskatchewan actually. And so they often recruited from the University of Saskatchewan. And I saw the posting come out and I actually chose not to apply for it because I wasn't interested at the time to move across the country. But one of my professors tapped me on the shoulder and said, you know, I think this would be a really good fit for you. Um, I know this company well and I know your abilities well, so I really think you should apply for this. So I thought, if nothing else, it'll be a good interview experience and I'll go for it. Um, but then, you know, I was very intrigued by the projects they presented and they offered for me to come to Vancouver and visit the office and see what those projects are and meet the staff. So couldn't resist that opportunity to do that. And I showed up and they were having like a, like a staff day where they were bar having a barbecue on the patio. So I got to you know have a burger with the other staff members and that was lovely. And then at the time, the bridge manager showed me around and, and told me about this really cool project they're working on, um, the temporary works for the San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge. And so interesting bridge project and I couldn't get it out of my mind. So I went back to Saskatoon and then I can, did a complete 180 where I thought, well, I don't think I can move and I thought I can't pass up this opportunity. And so then the rest is history and I've been there for almost 19 years now. I haven't looked back since and feel very lucky actually to kind of just by chance have stumbled upon a career that both fits my passions and my abilities, but yeah, it's just been a good fit for me.